What is a Medicaid spend down? What are people referring to when, they were, when they're when they in Florida, they're interested in Medicaid planning and they hear everyone talking about spending down their money? Well, we want to state for it right off the bat that the one thing that Medicaid prohibits is gifting assets away, right? Even if the IRS says you can gift $15,000 a year without having to file a gift tax return, Medicaid doesn't allow that. What they don't want people doing is they say, you know, someone goes, I've got $100,000 to my name. I know I can only have $2,000, so I'm going to give away $98,000 to my kids and then say, look, I only have $2,000. Give me my Medicaid. And Medicaid says, no, if you do that within five years, we are not going to give you these benefits. But before we get into, I have these great, neat, complex Medicaid planning strategies like personal services contracts and pooled special needs trusts and different real estate investments and, and, and really uh, cool creative things. When I'm having a Medicaid planning consultation with a client, I first begin with, you have, we're starting with the premise, you have too much by way of assets. What can you spend on yourself? that is going to make you happier or give you a higher quality of life because that is not the same as a gift. Medicaid does not prohibit my clients from spending money on anything that they want or need to help them qualify for benefits. They, it's just immaterial what you're spending your own money on as long as it's for yourself. They don't care if it's for the purposes of qualifying for Medicaid. Again, you just can't give it away. You can't spend the money on somebody else. You can't. There's no such thing as a spend down for someone that's not the Medicaid applicant or their spouse. So what do we talk about doing? Well, there are some real practical things to consider before we get into my other Medicaid planning strategies, such as if you have a mortgage on the house, it might be a good idea to pay off that mortgage. If you owe money to the credit card company or to, uh, to pay off the car, right? These are all valid ways of spending down your money. Once we talk about paying off debts, we then talk about have you prepaid for your funeral and burial expenses? These it, funerals and burials can be five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars, and someone's going to have to bear that expense sooner or later. So you might as well start thinking about it now. And then I say, okay, let's talk about where you live. Are you are you do you, are you having trouble getting in and out of the shower? Maybe you want to buy one of those you know self enclosed walk in bathtubs so that we don't have to worry about you slipping or falling or installing other handicap accessible safety measures to make your living arrangement more sustainable because we want you to stay at home for as long as possible typically that's the goal and um, and also maybe even make your residence a more valuable asset right if you want to redo the kitchen or you have to repair the roof go for it you're allowed to spend your money on anything that you need or want as long as it's for you so buying money to fix up your house is a perfectly legitimate expense and finally, let's make you more comfortable, right? Do you have a nice bed, a nice mattress that you like? Do you have a nice TV set? Is it, what's, what are you doing throughout your day that we can get you something better um, um, that's gonna make you happier, right? Because that's ultimately my goal with Medicaid planning is to allow my client to live as uh, long and high of a quality of life as possible until the very end, and then we make it more likely that we'll have something to pass on to our heirs. So when we're talking about a Florida Medicaid spend down, that's what we're referring to. We're thinking about, now again, we don't want to be crazy, right? We're not looking to waste money, but if there are things that you really need or really want, then absolutely um, it's all fair game as far as a Medicaid spend down is concerned. And it's only once we're done figuring out what makes sense to spend your own money on for yourself, then we're talking about these other more complex Medicaid planning strategies so we can protect what you have, keep you somewhat liquid to pay for the things that Medicaid doesn't, and, and so on and so forth. So when we're talking about a Medicaid spend down in Florida, that's what we mean, and I hope this has been educational. And if you have any other questions, I'd like to set up a consultation, uh, please feel free to call the number. Take care.